I shared with you guys the process of us renovating this bathroom from beginning to end, but I left out the end part. There are still some things I wanna put on the walls, but other than that, structurally, this bathroom is finished. So this is our small bathroom renovation. So this, yeah, as you guys can see, has been pretty bad. The mirror above the sink are not lined up. So, you know, you'll be standing at the sink and the mirror is like to the side. It also has some weird stuff at the bottom of it. I can't even see out of that mirror because I'm not tall enough. There's this shelving situation that just takes up so much space. We actually just removed the door. I can't tell you how much I am looking forward to this. We're gonna get new tile in here and we're gonna tile the shower and there's just so much rust and oh, just, it's gonna be, it's, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. The first thing we knew we wanted to do with the bathroom was move the toilet, get a new toilet, but move it from this location, which was the first place that you see when you walked into the space, there was just a toilet there. So we removed that toilet and added the plumbing to the side here so that you can't really see the toilet when you walk in because if you pull back into the hallway and you're walking down the hallway, you're gonna be able to see this vanity, this farm style sink and the window and the painting as opposed to a toilet right here. Day one was demolition day. We were really excited to remove this shelving unit. It took up a lot of wasted space and was the area in which we planned to relocate the toilet to. Because the toilet was so old, when we went to remove the toilet, we realized that it was cemented into ceramic pipes. That's how they used to do it back in the day. So we had to literally break the cement with a jackhammer to install the new plumbing for the new toilet. Then it was finally time to remove the tub. Looking back at this footage, it gives me such a sense of relief that this part of the process is over. Then it was time to remove the existing walls and we got the bathroom down to bare bones, but we ended up running into a major issue. We've run into a little bit of a problem. Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Large bit. Large bit. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that we have found out that the entire country of New Zealand is having a jib board shortage. So we gutted the entire bathroom and then found that out when we just like went to your local hardware store to just buy some jib board. And they were like, the entire country it sold out for like six months to a year. So and we're not even taking names at this point. Right now, we're in a little bit of a dilemma. A pickle. A little bit of a pickle. I called around and actually with some insight from some of you, I was able to find a company that could supply us with a small amount, just the amount that we needed, of plaster boards for the bathroom. Yes, the country was completely out of jib board, but not plaster boards entirely. So we ended up connecting with a company that had waterproof walls, which was exactly what we were looking for. Big updates. Really good, big win. How's it going? It's going. You know, I think that if there wasn't a national shortage of plaster board, then this wouldn't be nearly as nerve wracking as it is, but we're making progress. The most difficult was the ceiling and um, it required me to actually get in the attic of the house and install a piece of timber, a dwang, so that we could screw up into it. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. 
Then it was time to start painting and tiling. And this is when it really started to come to life and I was getting very excited. Once the paint and the tile was finished, the plumbers came back to install the toilet, the bath, the vanity, and the shower. Then we wanted to make sure the bath was a luxury bath. Even though it's a bath shower combo, I love taking a good bath. I wanted a deep, beautiful tub and I didn't want to sacrifice a bathtub even though we had this small bathroom space. This is a 1940s farmhouse so you know this is a smaller bathroom that was pretty common back then and so we just wanted to make sure that we could get the most out of a small space like this and I'm so happy with this combo. So this is a super deep bath and I made sure that we went with gold hardware because that's just what I love in a space like this you're going to realize that there is a lot of white in here and I'm not the type of person that decorates their entire house in all white I do love color we have a yellow couch in the living room but when I'm working with a small space like this everything I read because I did a lot of research about small bathrooms how to make them feel bigger and airier everything I read said go with light white cream colors because it's going to make the space feel a lot bigger and I'm so happy that we did that. We did herringbone tile which I've always wanted. I love. This is a gray grout and just like sort of a white creamish herringbone style. We did a niche here which Alex did really amazing at. He made this niche himself when we were in renovations and he didn't tile it himself though. The tilers did this backsplash here for the niche. I love the way that it turned out. I ordered these shampoo bottles. They're amber bottles on Amazon. I'll put the link to them in the description box, but I really love how they're all organized like this. And then you can tell what each one is with the little label that I put on the side. So that would be shampoo, conditioner, face wash, and body wash. We went with a beautiful rain shower head. I wanted not only the bathtub to have this kind of luxurious spa feel, but I also wanted the shower too as well because Alex takes more showers. And yes, we are on rainwater here. The whole farmhouse is on rainwater, but we get a lot of rain here in New Zealand. We're really blessed for that. So we've never come close to running out of water. So we can take baths from beautiful Mother Nature's abundance of rainwater. We have filters, so we're not just taking straight up rainwater baths. <laughs> we have a beautiful um, filter that is a UV filter. So the water is nice and clean. I'd probably say that one of my favorite features in the renovation is the floor tile. This is a hexagon sort of stone tile with a lighter grout color. I really love that this feels very rustic. I love that it also feels really like crisp and clean when we're in the bathroom. It kind of especially in the summertime it just really keeps it nice and cool in here and i love that it just feels organic because a lot in this bathroom feels like modern and um but i wanted it to also feel rustic because this home is rustic this is a little olive tree that's usually for outdoors but it's loving life in this bathroom and then right behind this door we have a five layer heated towel rack. These are nice and warm. This is the switch to turn on and off the heated towel rack. This is so lovely, especially in the winter time to have a nice warm towel when you get out of the shower. Also, it helps to dry the towel super quick. One of the main reasons why this bathroom reno took so long was because we had a hole here in the wall for a while 
because we had a different towel rack before. It was white, it was one layer, and it just wasn't great quality, and it just didn't go with the flow of the rest of the bathroom. It just didn't feel as like luxurious and nice, and so we decided to go with this one. It was a little bit more expensive, but we decided it was the finishing touch, and we wanted to have more spots for more towels, and so we finally got our hands on a gold one, which we really wanted to find so that it would match with the rest of the hardware in the bathroom, and I'm so happy we did. But this is one of the main reasons why it took so long to finish the bathroom. Another one of my favorite touches in the bathroom is this farm style faucet on the sink and the lifted bowl. I just love the way that this looks. This is really common to see in a kitchen, like a farmhouse style kitchen, but I really love it in the bathroom because if you're brushing your teeth and you spit out your toothpaste, you can really use this all over the sink. It gives you so much access for the whole bowl and I just think it looks beautiful. I really love having a low light in the bathroom for the evening. As soon as the sun goes down, I click this on and the light in here is just low. It's sort of pinkish red, which just makes you immediately feel like you're winding down for the evening. And I leave it on as a nightlight so that in the evening, if we have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, we wander in here and there's a low light on in the bathroom. We went with the gold hardware for the hand towel here. I found this painting at a secondhand shop and I thought it was perfect for this space because of the gold around on the frame. This is Tasmania, but I just felt like it looked like a cozy little cottage in the countryside. Like it just quaint and it's still a little farmhouse and it's still cozy, even though everything is like upgraded and modern. I still wanted to like bring in touches of that like organic kind of farmhouse style. So I felt like it went really nice in here. There is a huge drawer here, which I really liked about this vanity, and it has another layer for more storage. So you can put toilet paper, extra toilet paper down here, you can put towels down here, you can put all of your like hair care stuff and extra product in this big drawer. There's so much space in there, so we really loved this vanity for that reason, because as you guys can tell, there's not a ton of storage in this bathroom. There used to be, we got rid of that shelving unit because it just was a waste of space, but this drawer can hold so much, so we're really happy to have that storage space. This is the area that I'm having the most trouble with. So in the comments below, let me know what you guys would do with this big old open space here because I think about putting an art piece or I'd love to put more storage. So maybe something that has a cabinet to it and shelves and then a painting on this side. Definitely something needs to happen over here and I haven't sorted out exactly what I want to do yet. I love that the toilet flush button is also gold because it just matches with everything else in the bathroom. Over here we've got all our little dials for the bathroom. We added a heater which turns on there and is so lovely in the winter time because it heats up this space really well. And then we've got our fan. There was no fan in this bathroom before, which is not good if you want to <laughs> make sure that you have a space that doesn't have water damage and stuff like that. The fan is crucial in a bathroom, so that was a big deal. And then we've got these two dials for the light above the mirror there, and then there's a main light as well. So we did recessed lighting, and we also did like a top um, light above the round mirror. A huge part of the reno as well was we decided to get a new hot water heater. We had a low pressure one before that was 20 years old and with all of these new hardware pieces like the shower and the bath and stuff we really wanted something that was mains pressure which means that it just comes out better, harder pressure. There's nothing worse than taking a shower and just like a little trickle coming out where you can't even get the shampoo out of your hair. So we feel really grateful that we were able to do that as well because it just is a really important part of this reno because there's no point in having like a nice 
rain shower head but having low pressure so we made sure to do that as well although there are you know certain rain shower heads that are great for low pressure too so if you're doing a renovation and you have a low pressure water heater you can find pieces like that um, we just decided to switch it over because our hot water heater was 20 years old anyway so it was time for an upgrade so thank you guys for watching this video i'm going to get back into doing my weekly vlogs for you i just wanted to start the top of the year with this bathroom i know because it was something that was hanging over my head from last year that i never shared with you guys and this was one of the, our first big reno projects that we led that we designed and it feels really good that it's finished and it definitely gave us more confidence as we move forward through lots more renovations that are going on at the homestead we started working on the sleep out that we're making into a space for friends and family to come visit and for people to stay so it is going to be a whole new year of a lot of new projects that we're going to be getting into and that I will be sharing with you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Also in the comments below, let me know again what you guys would do above the toilet in this bathroom. I'd love to get your advice on that. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in a new video. Happy new year, bye.